What is taking you long? Where is my food? I'm not through yet, I have something doing. So you have to finish what you are doing, before you prepare my food. Please stop disturbing me. You say what? Next time, prepare my food when I ask you to prepare it. You are still standing there crying. Go outside. Don't come back here, until I say so. Nonsense. Dear, make sure you take care of yourself. Thank you, my dear. Go well. I will. I wish my marriage is like this my neighbor's marriage. What did she use to make her marriage sweet like this? I must find out, because I'm tired of my husband and fair treatment. You are welcome. Thank you. I hope no problem. Please, neighbor please tell me what you are using to make your marriage be like this. I can't wait to make mine like that. I'm tired of my husband and fair treatment. Is okay, all will be well. By God grace, I have been married for long now, and it hasn't been all rosy as it is today. It was difficult at the beginning. In fact, my marriage was on the verge of collapse just five years into the union. Really? My husband and I were like cat and rat. Oh, dear you are here. Please I'm hungry. Come and give me food. You can see I'm busy. Why not go to the kitchen and take food yourself? There is no food there. That's why I came to inform you so that you will and prepare food for us. What is there to prepare food? Other men used to do it themselves. Why can't you do it too? Must I be the one to cook in this house? Can't you help me out? You know, I have a lot of work to do for my company. Can't you understand? Please. Learn to take care of yourself, I'm busy. But, you are a woman, and my wife, is your work to prepare food for me. I married you to take care of me, but you never care for me. You don't even care if I have eaten or not. All you know is your work, your company, thoughts what matter to you, work, work, work. Does it mean if somebody is working she will no longer take her responsibility? Allow me concentrate, you are distracting me. If you are hungry, go and prepare food yourself, you're shouting will not make me leave what I'm doing. Chai. Nonsense. After all, I am the one taking care of everything. I'm the one paying the house rent. And yet you are calling yourself husband. I don't even know if you're the husband or I am the one. So because my wife is working, she will no longer cook for me. She doesn't care if I have eaten or not. I wash my cloth myself. I clean the house myself. I cook myself. Sometimes I'm even the one to wash plate. Oh God help me, to continue with this woman, because I'm getting tired of this marriage already. Dear the food is ready, let's go and eat. You can go ahead, I'm not through yet, I will eat mine later. Okay. Please I'm not in the mood, you know I have been working all day. Every time, you are not in the mood, when are you going to be in the mood, what kind of thing is this, are you the only woman working, other women are working, yet they are still taking their responsibility. Please enough of that, stop comparing me with other women, because their husband is the one providing for them, but here, my salary is more than yours, and I'm the one paying for this house we are living, so you should be grateful, you meet a woman like me. So all this is because your salary is more than mine. And you are the one paying the house rent. Am I not supporting you? Is it my fault that I'm not earning enough? Am I not doing everything to support you and also make you happy? I shower you with all the love in this world. I do things I'm not supposed to do because of the love I have for you. Why are you still acting like I leave everything for you? See, if you know you love me as you claim, stop disturbing me. Okay, no problem. I don't care if you leave, after all I can do with or without you. Good morning, I'm off to work.
I said I'm off to work. Please yourself, I'm off. Who cares if you answers me, or not? Today's work is too tough. Where is my husband? Dear. Dear. I have not seen him stay late night, like this before, what could be keeping him back? Anyway, let me go and prepare food since he's not yet here. Dear welcome, I have been waiting for you, let's go and eat. He left, without answering me. What is going on, since one week now, I have not seen my husband. Oh God what do I do? No one to talk to me, what have I done? If a science, 5 verse 22, wives, Submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as unto the Lord. Lord Jesus, I'm sorry, forgive me, for not been obedient wife to my husband. Please come into my home, I promise to be submissive to my husband. Bring him back to me, I can't afford to lose him. Dear you are welcome. I'm sorry, for letting you down. Please forgive me. <laughs> Is okay, I have forgiven you. Come on dear, I prepare your favorite food, let's go and eat. Dear you like it? Yes I like it, and I'm surprised, what really changed you overnight? Jesus did, I have invited him, in my life as my Lord and personal Savior, and he has instructed me, to love and zoom it to my husband. So my dear, then I can say that I was the cause of most of the troubles, I was literally a difficult person, to live with, I stood firmly on my right and wrong without shifting ground for anyone, the whole talk about submission was archaic to me, I found it extremely difficult submitting to my husband's authority, until... I invited Jesus into my life, as my Lord and personal Savior, and everything became normal, and sweet, I'm advising you to do the same, thought's the secret. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Invite Jesus, in your home. Have you invite Jesus into your life? If no, invite him now, because with him, every difficult thing will be made simple, he is the only way to peace, joy and hope, make peace with him and he will give you your heart's desire. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe, like and share. God bless you. And remember Jesus loves you.